Hey guys, I hope you're having a fantastic day. <clears throat> Excuse me. It is the spooky season, if you haven't noticed. One of my favorite times of year. And so, uh, I was checking out Steam, and I saw this free-to-play game by Brad Moore that is essentially a choose-your-own-adventure. And uh, it's called Disturbed, and I think it's exactly what I'm looking for to get started with the really fun spirit of Halloween coming up. So I thought I'd dive in. I haven't checked this out at all, so you'll be seeing everything fresh and experiencing along with me, so hopefully it's a lot of fun. And you can pick this up for free on Steam. Uh, just look for the name. It just released yesterday. Here we go. Another dull day passes as you struggle to manage your failing farm. Your crops are beginning to wilt and your cow is sick. Oh, and then these, these are the different saves that we can. Some time the lands have been very quiet. The air has grown thick and foul. Each passing day you feel more uncertain if things will ever return to how they were before. Perhaps it's up to you. Well, that's kind of a rhetorical question. You've made up your mind. You are going to do something about it. You stand in front of your humble home, pondering what you should do next. Should we, we'll, we'll save. <laughs> That seems like a good thing to do. All right, so what are we gonna do? We can go to the crops, we can go into the house, we can go to the shed. Well, you know, if we're gonna get started turning things around, we should probably get the tools from our shed. So we're gonna go there first. You attempt to open the shed door, but the door won't budge. You remember locking it some time ago, but you can't remember what you did with the key. Oh, well, I guess it's not an option. Let's go see if we can find the key in the house. Entering the house, you feel a subtle uneasiness as if the growing blight outside has penetrated the walls of your safe haven. From what you see, however, everything is the same as you left it. Perhaps this may be a good time to just lay in bed and wish that your problems will go away. You fight the notion, but the temptation is still there. Just to go to sleep? I feel like going to sleep would be a bad idea. Let's read our journal. Let's get a little bit of a sit rep. Dear Journal, another unusual, no, another usual day on the farm. The crops are growing with good health. Beth Ann is also doing quite well. Never disappointed with the milk she provides. If things continue to go well, I may be able to invest in more animals. A farmer can only be so social with a cow. Dear Journal, today has been an unfortunate day. Somebody broke into my shed and stole some things. I don't usually mind if someone steals a bite to eat from the garden, but to take my equipment. Well, I put a lock on the door and I hit the key. Nobody will ever get into my stuff again. Okay, so the key is hidden. He doesn't remember where it's hidden. That's fantastic. Dear Journal, I woke one night to a foul smell I would never come across before. I took a step outside to see what I could find, but I found nothing after searching about the farm. Whatever it is, it must be bad. <laughs> because it smells bad, therefore it is bad. I should make a trip into the city to see what this is about. And, okay, I'm not sure why something in the city would have anything to do with bad smells on your farm. But, whatever. Okay, so, had a good day. Someone stole our stuff. There's something that smells bad around the farm. Okay, important clues. Check out the chest. You open the chest and find nothing more than a pile of papers. It seems you have less valuables than you anticipated. You enclose the chest. That's too bad. Let's definitely not lay in bed. I feel like that would that would lead to something bad. Well, there is only one option at this point, which is to go to the crops. So let's go check that out. A path divides the crops you have labored so hard to pros prosper these past months. A penetrating odor reminds you that your plants are decaying away and time is running short. We can follow the path, go back to the house, or go into the pen. So the pen... Hmm, maybe we hit it in the pen. <laughs> A toxic fume burns your nose as you enter the pen. Your poor cow lays lifeless on the ground as a growing blight slowly begins to consume her body. You feel sick to your stomach as you stand here, especially as you stare at the black mushrooms that dot the ground. Uh, should probably not grab the mushroom. I feel like, so I read in the description that there were a lot of like sudden deaths in this game. So I feel like grabbing a mushroom might contaminate us with whatever badness is going on there but we might have to come back and grab one anyway so let's let's inspect the water that's probably a safe thing to do you inspect the water looking for anything abnormal you notice that the water has a dark consistency to it dropping a stone into it 
Black particles from the bottom swirl about like a thunderstorm. Your face shrivels in disgust. Uh, let's not grab a mushroom. Let's let's keep staying safe. Let's keep checking our, our options. Let's follow the path. You continue down the trail for a while until you see a cave off in the distance. You pause, questioning if there could be something helpful in there. Uh, probably not, but let's go ahead and... Is it giving me the option to save? Yes. Go ahead and save. Sure you want to overwrite your save? Yes, I am. Uh, let's go in the cave. I saved, so hopefully... Something awful won't happen. There's a faint whistle from the wind passing between the rocks. The temperature significantly cools as you enter the cave. You notice that there's a different smell, but you welcome it, comparing it to the deathly blight found outside. Go further into the cave. Uh, no. Let's not do that. Let's go continue down the path. You come to a stop as you stumble upon a broken wagon. Uh, let's inspect the wagon. Look about the mess and find bits of food and clothes scattered about the scene. You notice a key on the ground during your search. You pick up the key and continue on your way. What? The key to our shed, perhaps? After what felt like an hour or two, you reach a bridge. Nearby the path is a small shack similar to the house you have on the farm. The man that lives here is a kind fellow from what you would call. Maybe he's home. Probably dead, but let's check anyway. Inspect the shack. You walk towards the structure and knock on the door. You scratch the back of your head, figuring the person that lives here is currently occupied, if nothing else. You remember picking up a key from the wagon and use it on the door. The door unlocks. Oh, okay, so not the key that we're looking for. You decide to help yourself in. He's probably dead somewhere. Observing the empty room, you realize something terrible must have taken place here. The room is a wreck, just like the wagon. And I just realized my... Um, hold on. Let me edit my scene and move my camera so that way you can read the text. Put a webcam here. There we go. Sorry about that. Um, yeah, okay, we're good. You're overcome with fear as you think of the man that used to dwell here. We can open the trap door, leave the shack, or inspect the book on the table. Let's read his journal. You pick up the book and start to flip through the pages. You discover that this is a journal. <laughs> I knew it. Reading a passage or two can't hurt. Today's trading went smoothly, thank goodness. What... I am thrilled most about, however, is one of my buddies mentioned to me at the conclusion of our day. Apparently, there is a pond nearby that has some of the biggest fish in the region. With a good catch, I can make enough to move things forward. I didn't know a uh, fish could have that big of an impact on your life. I was caught off guard that he mentioned nobody has been able to catch any from there. I guess your typical fishing rod won't do the trick, but what can be done about it then? Something to be intrigued about, I suppose. These past couple of weeks have been really rough for me. My trading business has gone under and I have nearly lost everything I own. This has pushed me to extremes, but that can't be helped now. I am leaving this place forever, never to return. The land is dying and there is nothing but darkness here. Anyone reading this should leave all they can. Huh. Can't find a name to give this man, but regardless of the name, you have chills running down your spine. Well... So he's not dead, at least. But... Uh... Doesn't bode well for us. Let's check out the trap door. You observe the trap door and notice a lock, keeping it closed. With the key, you unlock the hatch and get it open. Without thinking, you travel downward. Oh, that's not good. Walking down the steps leading below, the air attacks your body with a piercing cold. You notice immediately there's a woman chained to the wall. She doesn't seem to notice you as you study her. You feel darkness surround you as you stay in this awful, that's a spelling, but you know, whatever, place. Uh, let's not talk to the woman. Let's just get out of here. Yeah, let's cross the bridge before something bad happens. That, to me, I've played enough Choose Your Adventures that that seems like death right there. You cross the bridge and safely continue down the trail. After all this happened, you feel you should take a moment to rest. You find a spot under a tree and sit down. Getting comfortable, you tilt your head back against the tree and gaze into the sky. Uh, let's not take a nap, because we'll probably die. So let's pick at the grass. Oh, no. As you pick up the grass blades in your reach, the ground begins to shake before you get up. Roots from below sprouts. Wait, roots from below sprout from the ground and wrap around your legs. Uh oh. You turn to see a large, angry face looking back at you. Your jaw drops in horror. No sounds or screams escape your tongue as tightening grips of the roots squeeze what air is left out from your body. Oh, so I think we just died. Uh, okay. I guess I picked the wrong choice. Let's, uh, let's keep going. 
All right, since I had to walk back to this point, I figured we should try talking to the woman and see what happens. I'm pretty sure this is going to kill us, but at least we'll get an achievement out of it. You tremble as you try to form words in your mouth. You there, let me out of here. The pressure of such demand makes you freeze. You take a moment to think about the situation before you respond. What got you locked up to begin with? You'll never blame me even if I told you the truth. Something brought you here. Please have mercy on me. Uh, let's free the woman since I saved, and that means we're technically immortal because of our, our ability to manipulate time. Something, pretty sure both these are pretty bad. You approach the woman and unlock the shackles that bind her. As her arms become free, she moans in pain. Oh, thank you so much. The woman struggles to regain her strength, but starts to stand on her own. As she gets up, she turns toward you. I will now do you a favor. What seems to be the face of a helpless woman disappears as a horrible image manifests itself before you. You're feeling the chill grip of bone hands lock onto your arms. Energy flees from your body and you fall to your knees. You feel the essence of your life slip away as everything goes black. It is unfortunate your journey ends here. <laughs> I called it. Joke's on you. I've got the dagger of time. And we're just going to leave the shack. See you later, zombie lady. So now we want to make sure we sleep. Because apparently picking the grass summons angry nature elementals that eat us. Your eyes close and your body relaxes. You fall asleep within seconds. As your mind wanders, you see a blurry image. Oh. Details emerge as you gaze. You wonder who this might be. A bad feeling then overcomes you and you realize who this is. You try to wake yourself up. I wonder if that's ourself. You wake up and jump to your feet, looking about yourself and your surroundings. All seems well. You can't help but feel fearful that something bad will happen to you if you stay here. Moving forward seems like the only logical option. Yeah, like apparently kicking the grass in the wrong direction will lead to very bad things. You reach a point where the trail splits into two paths. Which way should you go? <clears throat> well... You know, Princess Bride logic here. The educated man would go right, since the right direction is always right. But knowing that we should go left, anticipating that there's danger on the right for those that would anticipate those that are smarter to go right. So we're going to go left. I hope that made sense. After continuing down the path for some time, you come to a stop. You notice that there is some sort of trail that leads to the grass towards a nearby hill. If you had not stopped, you probably would never have noticed. Which way do you go? Uh, I say we save. Uh, so we can continue down the path, follow the trail in the, the grass, or go back where the trail splits. Let's go, let's go investigate. <clears throat> a sword. Following the subtle trail in the grass, you stumble upon what looks like a grave. Let's inspect the grave. You approach the grave, it looks at sword with intrigue. Uh-oh. Before you can touch the sword, a ghostly figure appears before you. You freeze before the apparition. The sword, may I have it? The blade is cursed. I am bound here by the pain of my past. If you desire the sword, free me from it. You slowly motion for the sword. Fool! Only something of pure essence can free me. A rare hope like a flower found in darkness. Uh, yeah, so very clearly, we are not supposed to grab this sword. So let's just... Something bad's gonna happen. Probably gonna kill us. Uh, let's continue on. Perhaps if we had gone back and grab, went in that cave and grabbed a flower, we might have been able to trade that for the sword. You pause to see that there's a lake nearby. The trail continues on to your right. Inspect the lake. You step near the lake and look down into it. Resting underwater is an orb of some sort sitting on the bottom of the lake. There's something strange about it as if it were calling out to you. I'm pretty sure this is going to kill us. But, you know, what, what is life without a little adventure, right? You close your eyes and jump into the lake. You open your eyes to see the stone sitting before you. You start to make your way towards it. Oh. A large fish comes into view. It quickly notices you with its mouth stretched open. You try to leave for the surface, but the fish catches up to you. You quickly find yourself helpless before the creature. And you close your eyes as the giant fish rips your body apart with its you die a very painful death. <laughs> yeah, so that was what the guy was talking about. So that was a uh, giant angler fish that dis just did us in. Um, I feel like I want to start over and go investigate that cave, but I'll do that in another video. I feel like this has been a pretty good preview. I'm enjoying this. I hope you're enjoying the narration. If you found this enjoyable, please feel free to leave comments. Give me some feedback. You know, possibly like, that'd be awesome. But in the meantime, 
Have a wonderful spooky season. I'll see you in the next episode.